Houston, one of the biggest stars in pop music, has died in Beverly Hills one day before the music industry's biggest celebration, the Grammy Awards. Police received a 911 call Saturday afternoon. Efforts to revive the singer were not successful. She died at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. When our officers arrived uh, in the hotel room on the fourth floor, fire department and hotel security were already attempting resuscitation measures at 3.55 p.m. this afternoon. Whitney Houston was pronounced dead at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. From the mid-1980s to the late 1990s, the multi-Grammy Award winner was one of the world's best-selling artists, but her majestic voice and her regal image took a tumble. Her marriage to singer Bobby Brown was tumultuous. Her behavior became erratic and album sales plummeted. Houston confessed to abusing cocaine, marijuana, and pills. The cause of death remains under investigation. Our detectives are going to follow up on this, and the first thing to determine is whether or not uh, it was natural causes or um, some other cause of death. When you've got Houston's death is certain to cast a pall over Sunday's Grammy Awards ceremony where she once reigned. It's, I'm speechless. It's, um, my hero's gone. Oh my God. I, I don't really have words. I mean, she was a huge part of me growing up. Like, you know, I loved her music. It was so emotional, so soulful. Houston's success went beyond music, and she starred in films, including The Bodyguard and Waiting to Exhale. Whitney Houston was 48. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.